How does that work? What is going on here? What is happening? We're in a simulation. The simulation is glitching. What's up, Matt? What's going on? So, we want to know, do you get confused easily? Do I get easily confused? Very much so. What? Just kidding. I'd like to think that I don't, but I'm sure that I do. Sometimes I call myself her name. <laughs> okay, what? Huh? Today you're going to be participating in a challenge we've only done once before. This is a try not to get confused challenge. I think I already lost. <laughs> So there are all sorts of video compilations on YouTube and even entire subreddits dedicated to this type of confusing content. So we've gathered some of the most confusing things on the web to see if we can confuse you. Oh, so, trust me, you'll be able to confuse me just fine. So we'll have you rate each one on a scale from one to five based on how confusing you thought each one was. Is five the most confusing? You should have flipped them around just to make that confusing. I'm definitely gonna get confused, let's do it. Oh gosh, little girl, what are you doing? Oh God, this makes my hands sweat. Oh, she made it to the red carpet for her movie premiere. Is this like Cirque du Soleil? Oh my God, that was confusing as hell. <laughs> oh my, oh, it was a painting. No, don't do it though. It's still scary. No, oh, I knew it, I knew that. I recently went to the Museum of Illusions for the first time like two weeks ago. If I, if I didn't go, I would have been confused, but I guess I'm street smarter than I thought. I see what, you know, the depth perception and like the, you know, illusions. All right, I thought she was, you know, I thought she was just a daredevil. So let's go from one to five. How confusing was that for you? That was a five. That was so confusing to me. I really thought that she was like on a ledge. One out of five. That's about what I was expecting. I'm gonna give it a one. It sort of ruins the illusion too when she jumps. We'll stay at four. Two. It was confusing at first, but only for like a split second. I give it a one. I gotta go with the one. Two. I wasn't that confusing. For me, that was a one. I would say that's a two because at first I was just like, oh, well, what, what's happening here? Five. I did not like that at all. Next. Okay, a little family trip. What you do? Oh no, his legs are gone. He really skipped leg day. Oh, where did his body go? That man has no lower half of his body. How does that work? What is going on here? I mean, he must be wearing like camouflage pants or he's like laying on something. <sighs> Trying to like see what kind of pose he's in. He could just be a floating person. You know, I'm not, I'm not gonna judge. I'm hoping the confusing thing is that this little kid is actually the dad. I can't figure it out, so I think I have to give it a five. Four. Yeah, good four. Five. <laughs> I have no idea where this man's lower half is. A two? Four. I'll say a two. Is there like a dead man in the back? Three. Already a five. I'll give it a four. This is a five, because I cannot figure out how this is being done right now. So he's bending at a 90 degree angle, and each of his legs is blocked by one of the kids. <gasps> Oh, oh, he's got like, he's like man spreading to the 10th degree. That makes sense now. I was so confused. Uh oh, okay. <gasps> They're gonna hit each other, no! Oh. <laughs> oh, Hawaii, oh no, don't do it. It looks like the wing is gonna chop off the whole, like the whole top of the other thing. Yeah, I get that. That's not that confusing. It's just, you know, it's just the angle. If I have bad death perception, like a sloth, that might have confused me. But I'm not a sloth. I'm a human being. Check it. That was a one. If I just thought like randomly on Instagram, maybe I'd freak out. I'd give it a three average. I'm gonna say a one. I give that a zero. I solved the case. That's a one. I thought maybe the wing might touch it, but we good. One, two, three. It's a little more confusing than the first one. That was a good four. I say three. Honestly, three. I would put a two. I don't even think that was confusing. That was more like panic. Okay, it's a mirror. It's like some special mirror that, oh no, it's the same thing. Oh, on both sides. Wait, what? Oh man. Oh, my brain. I've seen these before. Um, I know it's just something with the shape. And this is saying physics fun? It's not fun. Huh? Wait. A second. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Oh, okay. Nope, still don't get it. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that was like my favorite one. It looks like it's only one side is an arrow when you're looking at it dead on, but then when you're at a different angle, it's like 
it can go either way. For that one, it's not a special mirror, it's just the way that it's shaped uh, from the way that you're looking at it, it just looks like it's pointing a different way. Fine, geez, take away my detective badge. Okay, that's a five. Five as well, because I couldn't figure it out. That's a five. I will never understand that one. Three. I'd say like a two for that. It's But it's, for me, it's almost just more satisfying to watch than anything. Three. Three. Because I, I understand on like a basic level what's happening here, but definitely not the specifics. Three. A four. Five. It's a definite five. Who makes these things? Like, who's like, I want to trick people. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Oh, it's just a photo. Gosh, I was waiting for it to move. I'm like, move, horses! Donkeys. On... sand? Looks like donkeys. Oh my god, are they zebras? Oh my god, I get it. It's shadows of zebras. <gasps> oh, I figured it out! I figured it out! It's zebras, and then the shadow, like the black part, is their shadow. This is a pack of zebras, and their souls are leaving their bodies. Wait a minute, are those shadows? What is happening? Where are they coming from? I'm gonna give this one a freaking five. A two? I'm sorry. I'd give this one a two. Two, because it did take me a second to figure it out. But it's still dope. Four. I'll give this a four for confusion. I'd give that one a two. This is pretty confusing. This I is a five. Like Oh, I was going to say again. four. I figured it out pretty quick, though. Well, I didn't. I'd give that one a three out of five. That one was pretty hard, but it was, like, satisfying. I'd give it a four. That was pretty confusing. I really thought it was just black horses. <laughs> but it's zebras. I think it's, like, a hill with smoke. Is it, like, ocean spray? Wow, that looks like clouds. Is this just the... Whoa! Oh. Oh. Whoa! Whoa. Whoa, why did that look like a wave? So those clouds, was that smog? I thought it was a dust storm for a second. Either they're really high up, or this is some kind of, like, perspective illusion. I'd give that one a two. A solid one. I rate that a one on the confusing scale, but five on the, on the pretty scale. That one was a, a one. Two? That one's a one. It wasn't even confusing. It was I knew exactly what was going on. No confusion over here. One. Yeah, one. Zero. It's clouds. I'll give it like a two. I give it a two. I guess I'm really into optical illusions and like messing with my brain. So I've seen a lot of these tricks before. So I know what to look for. Okay, so the birds are like frozen in midair. <laughs> hey, birds, you're supposed to be flying, man. You can't just hang out up there all day. That's, uh, creepy. Are you seeing this? <laughs> it's gotta be a slow motion video. How are the birds just hovering there? What? Oh, I got it. It's just slow-mo. That actually happened. That was a thing that was filmed in real life. What is happening? We're in a simulation. The simulation is glitching. Oh my god, what was that? Why were the birds not doing anything? So they are moving, but it doesn't look like they're moving. But if he's on a train or a car, he going pretty slow. So it must be that slow mo. I'm gonna give that one a one out of five. I feel like there were there were context clues that I could piece together to figure out what was going on. I'd give it a five. If I saw this out my window, I would definitely pull over and start taking videos. This deserves a four. Because yeah, I like I look at it and go, that's Kind of baffling. So that one's a solid one, because I already knew it. <laughs> I'll give it a three. That wasn't that confusing. A two, because it took me a second to figure it out, but it was really cool. Five. I don't. Uh, what happened? I'll give it a five, just because I can't figure it out. Five again. I give that one a one. five. That was a one for me. Thinking of how it was filmed, though, they would have had to drove by really fast, <laughs> filmed it super slow motion to get it. Right? Please explain. <laughs> so you're actually right. They were driving past fast and they did a slow motion video. And I think the birds might have been flying in the opposite direction. So it goes even slower for them. Oh. So it looks like. Oh, see, I knew it. But I was still confused. Oh my gosh. Girl, what kind of PTA meeting is this? <laughs> oh, I got it. Figured it out. Wow. She is Jasmine in the modern world, and she on a flying board. 
it does immediately jump out like this person's floating. And I bet you the person who took this picture saw the same thing. Oh, she's on the sand, but there's a flag shadow. It's just depth perception, you know, when you have layers and like, you know, the foreground and the middle ground and the background. I'll give it a one. I'd give it a four. The flagpole gave it away. One. This was a zero for me. I didn't even for a second go, oh, she's floating. I was like, that's a... Uh... A plank there and a flag. I know what it was, so it's a one for me. One. It confused me at first, but I caught on pretty quick. It's a one. This is a one. If there were no flags in the background, though, I'd be so confused. That's Actually, that was a two, because a I two. was like, oh. You gotta look at it pretty good. One out of five. This is like inflating my ego. I'm like, oh, maybe I don't get confused as easy as I thought. What the hell are those? Little dinosaurs. What the heck are those? Look like little brontosauruses. Wait. Oh, it's them backwards. They're not little dinosaurs. What was that? Oh, this is lemurs backwards. At first glance, they look like a bunch of dinosaurs running around, which is f funny. But then you look at it and it's the tail and the thing. That's super cute. That'd be so cool if dinosaurs are real and they're that size. What? That one's a five. I thought I was like looking at the Land Before Time footage. I give this one like a three out of five. One, my very first initial reaction was this, these are lemurs in reverse. Animals are weird. I'll give it a two in honor of that. That deserves a four. One, because I saw what it was, but it's one of the cooler ones. That was just a one. I'll give that a one. I saw through you, lemurs. A three, because it threw me off at first. That was a three. That's a three. Because like, well, at first you're like, what kind of animal is that? We have one more for you. Mm. As you're watching this last video, make sure you stare at the green dot in the middle of the screen and notice what happens to the yellow dots around it. Mm, okay, here we go. The music is intense. They're disappearing one by one. They're gone. They're completely gone. Oh, I, the, oh, they go on bye-bye. Are the dots even yellow? They're gone! Ah. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're completely gone. <gasps> but then when I look for them, they appear back. Is it bad that I see nothing? <laughs> now they're all gone again, and they're back. They're just like, the yellow dots are like, pop, 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 pop. <laughs> it feels so severe with the music. So yeah, like, it's interesting, like, sometimes the yellow dots disappear, uh, like, sometimes the top two disappear. It's sort of crazy how untrustworthy our eyes are, you know? <laughs> it really makes you go, huh, the the world, like, my, my eyes and what's actually going on is not what is really happening. The yellow dots seemed to be moving. Even though I think they weren't, it was the, the blue crosshatch pattern that was moving. I maybe am at an advantage here because I do have a degree in brain behavior and cognitive science, so I've been hit with lots of stuff like this before. That's a one. No confusion there. Five. That one was hard. I don't know how it happens. It's confusing, and I'm gonna give it a five. This is a four. Even though I've seen stuff like this before, just it's just wild to me how the, how the brain works. That's a five. Because you see them fizzling out at the side of you. It's weird. Four. Five. That's a five. That was three. Five. Oh, that takes some engineering. I think that one was really, really cool. Two. Because the only thing confusing about this is uh, not knowing why it's happening. Which is the definition of confusion. Once you know what to look for, it's easier to figure out what it is, but I could totally see myself like on a chill Friday night going to that subreddit and just being like, let's test out my brain muscles. These are a fun thing to look at on the internet because it's kind of like a little mental workout. You see these things and maybe if you come across similar illusions in real life, now you'll be more primed to catch them. Keep sharing these things and we'll become a, a more evolved species because of it. Thanks for watching, I think. I don't know where I am right now because I'm confused. Check out and subscribe to all the creators in this episode, links below. Bye! Hey everyone, Lauren Producer here at FBE. Thank you so much for watching this episode of YouTubers React. Make sure you check out all the creators who came in and shot with us today. Their links are gonna be down there. Bye everyone!